Hola mi gente and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean and this is We Are Investing, a channel that's dedicated in investing and personal finance. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to paper trade options on Webull because yes, now you can paper trade options on Webull, whether it's through your mobile device, whether it's an Android or an iPhone, and you can also do this on your Mac or PC as well. Now, part of this channel, there is a playlist where we go over many things on the Webull application. So if you're using Webull and you want to learn more about the application, then definitely check out the Webull investing playlist. In addition, on top of that, if you are not signed up with Webull and you would like to join, do so by using the link down below and it will reward the channel. You will also get free stocks. If you sign up with the link down below, deposit $100, you will get six free stocks worth up to $12,600. Now, some things with Webull, they charge $0 in commission in stocks and options. You can start trading stocks at 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern time. And now you can even trade over-the-counter stocks as well. And if you're looking for trade alerts, then definitely consider joining the private Discord server, which you get access through the Patreon. A link is provided down below as well for that feature. Now, before we dive into how to paper trade options, we need to learn more about paper trading, why it's important and why beginners should use it. And we also need to learn more about the basics of options before we actually go through the process of paper trading options. Now, if you already know all this stuff and you just want to skip along to the portion where we actually go into the application, look at the chapters down below the timeline and feel free to skip around this video as you see best. So first and foremost, why even paper trade options? Well, paper trading is a way to learn different strategies without using your own money. So if something's not working out, you don't need to actually lose money. You can paper trade first to determine if a strategy is going to work out for you or not. As a beginner to options, there are some other things that I think are very important and why you should begin paper trading at least a couple months before you actually start using options for real. You get to learn how the stock price impacts the options price or the impact the stock price has on premiums. You get to learn the risk associated with options, like after earnings, how implied volatility has a huge impact on options, how time decay or theta can have a huge impact in options, and how when the stock moves up or down, what does that do to the options price? You also learn how to execute buy and sell orders with options via paper trading. Now, the biggest drawback with paper trading is you're not using real money, so your emotions are nowhere going to be the same as if it was actual money on the line. So you're not going to learn how to control your emotions and not let your emotions get the best of you, but you will learn a lot of things that maybe it's better to get those things out of the way before you start dealing with real money. Now, there are two types of options. There are call options and put options. And I don't care what strategy you are using, it's going to derive from call options or put options. Now in Webull with the paper trading, all you can do is buy a call or put option and then sell it. You can't do covered calls, you can't do cash occurred puts, you can't do debit spreads or credit spreads, you can't do iron condors or any other options training strategy. But as a beginner, the best way to start is by buying call options or by buying put options. That is the easiest way to trade options and it is the best way to get started. It might not be the best strategy for a particular stock at that time, but it's definitely the first thing that you need to do in order to learn how to trade options. So what exactly is a call option? Well, a call option is a contract, all options are contracts, that gives the owner the right, but not the obligation, to buy a specified amount of an underlying security at a specified price with a specified time. The specified price is known as the strike price and the specified time during which the sale can be made is expiration or time to maturity. It's the expiration date. You pay a fee to buy an option. That fee is called a premium. You can go long on a call option by buying it or you can go short an option by selling it. That's also known as being the writer of the option. Call options can be purchased for speculation or sold for income purposes or for tax management. Call options may also be combined for use in spread or combination strategies. So let's take that a little bit further and let's go over an example, a common example that you might find yourself in as a beginner trading options or call options. 
So in this example, we are going to buy a call option on Amazon that has an expiration date of 10-21-2022. The strike price of the option is going to be $120. The fee or the premium is going to be $5.50. You're going to times that by 100. So the fee for us to get into this trade is going to be $550. And the current price of Amazon stock right now is $106. So let's assume that at expiration, which is October 21st, 2022, which is like four months away from filming this video, let's assume that Amazon stock is going to be at $140. It's going to go from $106 to $140. So with that being said, what is our break even on the trade? Well, the break even is going to be the strike price plus the fee or the premium. So in our case for this situation or this example, it's $120, which is the strike price, plus how much we paid for that options contract, which was $5.50. So our break even is going to be $125.50. A max loss with a call option is how much you pay in premium. You cannot lose more than what you paid. And for this example, it's $550. You take the premium, times it by 100. The reason why you times that premium by 100 is because each call option or each put option gives you exposure to 100 shares. So 550 times 100, that is when you get $550. Now, the max gain on this position is the price of the stock minus the strike price. So the price of the stock at expiration is $140. The strike price is $120. That difference is $20. And because a call option gives us exposure to 100 shares, our total gain or our total gain on this position is $2,000. Now, the profit is your total gain minus how much you paid for it. So $2,000 minus $550 is a total profit of $1,450. In that situation, we paid $550 to get a gain of $1,450. So our return on our investment is 264%. If we were to buy shares in Amazon right now, we would have to pay $106. At expiration, they would be $140. So we would make $36 in profit by buying stock instead of options. And that is only a 32% return on your investment. That is why options are so popular because they can be extremely lucrative. Options provide leverage. It is exposure to 100 shares for $550 in this case. If you wanted to buy 100 shares or get exposure to 100 shares in Amazon stock, it would cost you $10,600. So you're putting up far less capital to get that exposure, but it does come with risk. If Amazon stock is below our break even, then we are not profitable. So we need to get above $125.50. Where if you were just to buy the stock, anything above $106 would be profitable. And with buying the stock or buying shares, you're not going to get your max loss until those shares hit $0. For us, we get our max loss if Amazon is below $120 a share. And this can be displayed in that photo right here where it's a long call. You see, we have a defined risk. It is that that strike price. Anything at that strike price or below, we are going to lose all of the money we put in. But anything above that to our break even, or I should say above our break even price, which is the strike price plus the premiums, we are going to make money. And in terms of a return on investment, a profit percentage, it is going to be much more than buying shares because you had to put far less capital up front to get that exposure. Now let's go over put options. Put options give holders of the options contract the right but not the obligation to sell a specified amount of an underlying security at a specified price within a specified time frame. Put options are available on a wide range of assets including stocks, indexes, commodities, and currencies. 
Put options price are impacted by change in the price of the underlying asset, the option strike price, time decay, interest rates, and volatility. Put options increase in value as the underlying asset falls in price. You make money with put options betting that the stock is going to go down. That's why a buyer of a put option would execute that kind of trade. They have to be bearish on a trade. With that being said, put options lose value as the underlying asset increases in price, as volatility of the underlying asset price decreases, as interest rates rise, and as the time to expiration nears. So let's go over an example of a put option, very similar to the call option. The stock is Amazon. The expiration date is the same. The premium in this case is $4.50. The strike price is $90 and the current share price is $106. In this situation or example, we are going to assume that Amazon is $75 a share at expiration. In this example, the break-even is going to be calculated the same way. It's the strike price minus the uh, premium, so $90 minus $4.50. Our break-even is $85.50. Our max loss is the same. It's how much we paid. In this case, it's $450. Now our gain is going to be the difference between the strike prices times 100. So 90 minus 75 times 100. Our gain in this case is 1,500. Our profit is that gain minus our cost of entry. So in this case, it's $1,050. And the return on investment is 233%. If you were to just short the stock, you would get $31 per share. And that would result in a return of 29%. Now put options have a defined risk. Shorting stock has unlimited risk. And that is the benefit of put options. Not only are you going to increase your potential returns, you're also going into a bearish trade with a defined amount of risk. Whereas shorting a stock, as we have seen with GameStop stock, can put you into a situation where there is a lot of risk and you can get margin called because stocks can go as high as they want. There is no limit on how high a stock can go. So if you short a stock and then it 10 X's over the next couple of days, well, then that is a huge loss for you. Whereas with a put option, you can only lose what you put in. So once you log on to your Weibo application, you're going to want to click on the menu tab all the way in the bottom right. In here, you're going to see some shortcuts. You're going to click on paper trade. This is going to open up your paper trading account. And then you can change a lot of stuff here. But I just want to show you how to do some options trade. You can paper trade stocks. I made a video on that before. But we're going to go into how to paper trade options. And it's really simple. And I just recommend that you try a bunch of different stocks. Do calls, do puts, stocks that you're bullish on, stocks that you're bearish on. And just see how it works out. Do a ton of trades. Get familiar with how to execute orders. And see how prices impact options premiums. So to get started, you're going to hit on options trade. And now you're going to pick a stock. I'm just going to pick Starbucks. It's right here. And then we are going to be directed to the options chain. Now, there are a few things that we want to go over. The first thing is, what do we see right now in front of our screen? These are the expiration dates. Below or to the left of the expiration date, you're going to see 5 days, 12 days, the amount of days to expiration. When you see an options chain that has a W next to it, these are what we refer to as a weekly options. If you don't see a W next to it, then it's a monthly option. Every stock that trades options are going to have monthly options. That is the third Friday of every month. If a stock has enough volume and enough interest, then it can trade weekly options as well. You will notice that weekly options have far less volume and interest. So they're far less liquid. Trade weekly options, trade monthly options, and see how they compare to each other. You might realize that monthly options might be the better way to do it unless you are a very short-term trader. So let's proceed by picking the July 15th, the monthly option expiration date for Starbucks. 
Now we have the strike prices on the left and we have for calls, we can click on for puts or we can do for both of them. I'm going to use both of them because I'm going to kill two birds with one stone here. We're going to go over call options and put options. So call options, the ones that are in this light blue, those are referred to as in the money, meaning that the strike price is below the current share price. For put options, it's the other way around. Put options that are in the money include strike prices that are above the current share price. And if you scroll left and right, you can see that there are certain columns here. We have volume, we have open interest, we have implied volatility. Then you're going to see the Greeks. We have delta, gamma, theta, and vega. That's basically all you need to see. Now, if you click on the little slider down in the bottom right, you can modify this. You can reduce the amount of strikes you're seeing. You can see what some of the list style is. You can sort the strike price by ascending or descending. And if, if you hit the columns editor, you might not have Delta already there. I don't know what the default setting is. You can add it there as well. Now, with that being said, let's execute an order to buy a call option. So we're going to pick one that's out of the money. Let's pick the $80 strike. So if we click on this $80 strike, this is the screen that pops up. Now there is a mid price, there is a bid price, and there is an ask price. The mid price is 44 cents. The limit price that we have right now is 47 cents. What you can do, there are two buy orders for call options. You have a limit order and a market order. The limit order, you are going to set the price that you're willing to pay. The market order, you're going to pay whatever the market's going to give you at that time. Options only trade during market hours. So 9.30 a.m. Eastern time to 4 p.m. Eastern time. I always recommend doing a limit price. And since the bid is $42 or 42 cents and the ask it's $47, we can just select the mid and go to $44. Now, one contract gives you exposure to 100 shares. So like I said earlier in this video, if we want to buy this option, it's going to cost us $44. It's going to be 0.44 times 100. The amount that you want to, the amount of contracts that you want to buy, it's up to you. But let's say we are just going to go with 10, then we would hit paper trade and you would see that it will create this order. We are going to cancel that order. We're going to hit yes. Then we are going to go back and the process is the same for put options, let's say that we think that Starbucks is going to go to $60 by expiration. We can click on that. Here's our bid at $34, the ask at 37, the mid price is 36. We'll do that. We'll do 10 orders and we'll hit paper trade. And that's it. That's how you're going to execute orders. Now let's cancel that. Let's go back to the home screen here. Now, once you have executed your order to buy options and it gets filled, it's going to show up under your positions. It's there where you can monitor the performance of your option. Now, thank you so much for your time. I thank you for sticking around till the end. If you liked this video, then please consider hitting that subscribe button, ringing that bell, and smashing that like button. Also, do not forget about those six free stocks worth up to $12,600 by using the link down below in the video description for Weeble. In addition, if you want trade alerts, you can do so by joining the Patreon, which will give you access to a private Discord server. Whenever I enter into any trades, I post in the member activity channel so you can see what stocks, what options I am buying and selling, and we have had some really good picks in the past. I'm also there to help you if you have any questions. It's a community of investors and traders. We all learn from each other and grow from each other. With all that being said, that wraps up for this video. Again, I thank you for your time. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. And this is We Are Investing and together we are invincible. See ya.